Hi there, Tiny Tank with a quick tutorial requested by the server owner. So this is for automating steel production using the high oven modification to Tinker's Construct and Applied Energistics ME interfaces and the Agrarian Skies mod pack available on the Feed the Beast launcher. So this turned out to be way simpler than originally intended. The ease with which this can be configured was surprising. So it all revolves around the item ducts. Turns out you can configure which of the numerous inventory slots get items put into it. After that, hopper to provide a buffer and any interfaces. You could use export buses which are made out of interfaces, or you could just use the interfaces. Uh, so that's what I did for simplicity's sake. All right, so I've got each of the fuel mixtures on its own export bus, dedicated to keeping a whole stack available for creating steel, bam, and that's the default steel recipe. You can play around with the different oxidizers and catalysts and bases and stuff to find a more efficient recipe, but these are bulkly attainable and easy to get. And then uh, one set for the fuel to keep it full of charcoal so that the oven stays hot. As you can see, I just turned this one on a moment ago so it's not heated up yet. And then the automatic crafting and throttling system. So there's one item duct behind this router, or interface and hopper, not router, that is got a ME encoded pattern for putting in one block of iron to create one block of steel that feeds that hopper, which is also being fed by another hopper controlled by a level emitter, making sure that when if I if my stockpile of steel blocks ever drops below 128, that it will start adding more into it. And this one here is just pumping it full of iron blocks. As you can see, it's starting to cook long, starting to heat up, and it's going to automatically fill it all with steel. So that, my ME system, will maintain a constant stockpile of four stacks of steel blocks. And my giant assembler here is already programmed on how to use the steel blocks to make all of the reactor components necessary for a build I stole from a YouTube channel that's pretty awesome and covers this mod pack and how to get other things working like the basics for applied energistics and all that fun stuff. Uh, for this reactor, needs tons of steel. I'm going to build a second one so that I can power four mining lasers. Right now I've got two running off of it. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, the waste ejection management is also really simple. Uh, this is the control rod mechanism really simple turns the output battery link output battery percentage into control rod extension percentage so that it's automatically throttling itself to not be putting out its maximum power so that it's not using the maximum fuel rate turns out to be unnecessary because with even one of those lasers up there running it's creating enough new yellowium to run itself and then some, so you don't need to process the cyanite into plutonium and have a recycling mechanism, it just takes care of itself. Uh, after that, the waste ejection, because the, getting the waste ejection ports to work properly was acting wonky, uh, so I didn't want it to always be exporting waste, I wanted it to do it as needed. It is taking the flat value of 250 times 4, to equal a thousand and outputting that strength and comparing it to the waste level strength that is being put out uh, which it, when it reaches a thousand that's one millibucket one bar of cyanite and then outputting that as a purple signal the purple signal gets sent out the blue signal at the top and when it receives a blue signal it ejects waste period done. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Runs all on its own. Okay. 
automatically throttles itself. Pretty efficient, pretty happy with it. Thanks a ton to the Purple Mentat channel for the testing and math that went into designing that very efficient reactor. I am happy with it. And then... That's about it. So... Hi, Evan. Stupid easy to automate. Bye.